my channel. My name is Jessica. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I created this look using the new NARS palette. This is the Wanted palette. It is super, super pretty. I've used this palette a few times before I filmed this tutorial and I just want to let you guys know that this palette is seriously so amazing. The colors are very easy to work with. They blend out very nicely and there is hardly any fallout and that is a huge plus for me. I feel like this palette can be very versatile. It is very versatile. And I use the cranberry-ish colors so it can go with the holiday theme and I also think you can create a beautiful New Year's look. You have those shimmery and sheeny colors and they go on so pretty. They're very easy to work with. I've used this palette a few times before I filmed this tutorial and I just want to let you guys know that I'm very impressed with these shadows. I mean, NARS is one of my favorite brands ever, so I was expecting great results and I got great results. But anyway, without further ado, if you would like to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. To start off with my eyes, I'm going to build up the crease using these two shades right here, which is Seven Heaven and Shadow Hill. I believe that's what it is. And I'm just going to start building that transition slash crease shade. And I do like bringing it like in here just a tad bit. And for this brush, I'm using a fluffier Morphe brush. It's the 30, R37, I believe. This is one of my favorite brushes for that transition slash crease shade. And also, I like using this if it's one of those days where I just want to swipe an all-over color on my crease. This is the one I use. And I like just feathering out over here. Just kind of bringing it further over the crease. Next up, I'm going to take my E17 brush and I'm going to dip in this cranberry shade right here, which is, I want to say it's Temptress, right? Temptress? Yeah. It's either Temptress or Coconut Grove. I think Temptress is the correct one. Build that outer V corner. So I'm going to focus it right here on top of the lid and right on that crease slowly building it. This is Morphe M433. I'm gonna just switch on and off. I like this one because it gets it precisely where you want those shades and then I'm using this one just to kind of feather out a little bit. Yes, like that. And this blending brush, this E17 is so good to pack on that color. Once you pack it on, it's so easy just to blend out. You can get precise placement with this blending brush. See, look at that. Of course, it looks a little muddy right now because I have yet to blend it out, but I like the buildup of the color with this brush. Colors just blend out so nicely. Alright, just going to go back and forth. No extra product on this bigger blending brush. And going to blend everything out. Up next, I'm going to take this Morphe M210. It's like a packing brush. And I'm going to dab into this Biorritz color or shooting, shooting Star. I'm probably butchering these so badly, but I don't know. Right here. Seriously, so pretty. And I'm bringing that a little bit higher and kind of lining that natural crease right here and packing it on at the same time. It literally makes my eyelids look a little wet. Again, following that crease, just keep packing it because it's so pretty. And to kind of blend that wet stuff with that cranberry color, I'm going to use, I'm going to just mix these two 
which is Mendoza and Wicked Game, these two right here. And I'm gonna put that, kind of transition those two shades with the matte shade and the shimmery shade. It's like a good in between. And for that, I'm gonna use this smaller blending brush. This is the E18. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off that glitter fallout and I'm also going to put on lashes. The lashes I'm gonna use today are Allure Me Beauty, Allure Me. These are silk lashes, super pretty. They're beautiful, they're kind of wispy right there. They pick up really nicely. I do have a 20% off code for these lashes. I will leave it all down below. So again, I'm gonna put these on and then I'll see you back. Back? I can't speak. I'll see you guys back in a second. For today's primer, I'm going to use the NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer as my base. And for foundation, if you guys don't know, this is like my favorite foundation ever. This is the NARS Sheer Glow. I have been using the shade Barcelona lately, medium four. I have always used Stromboli. And I don't know, It's this one is just a tad bit darker on me. Um, Stromboli is a little more yellow, but lately I feel like this one has been matching me. I don't know if, I don't know. I really don't know. I really like this one at the moment. I also have Stromboli and I just kind of jump back and forth. Sometimes I mix them. That's what I've been doing, so... Most foundations. Some I just go straight in with the Beauty Blender. But I like going in with the brush first, so I just evenly, you know, distribute the product. And I feel like in my head I waste less product because sponges really soak up, you know, everything. So if I do this, I'm really, you know, just dispersing everything evenly. There's less product being wasted. So once I have that evenly distributed, then I go in with my beauty blender and pat in any streaks. I like going in with the beauty blender because I feel like it just, you know, presses everything into my skin. <laughs> I've only ever used that pore and shine control primer a couple times. I'm still kind of trying it out. The only weird thing is when I at first like rub it in my hand and on my face it feels grainy. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. At first I thought my hands were dirty but I wash them and I keep using it and every single time it feels grainy. But once it's on my face I feel like it doesn't make my skin look texturized or anything. My first initial response was kind of weird. Wasn't feeling it, but I mean, I feel like I really just need to see how it works throughout the day. Haven't done that, so need to do that. For concealer, I'm gonna be using this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is how I like to set my face. I've done a tutorial on how I did this, or do this if you would like to see it. I'll link it here on the screen. This is the usual, so I'm not really gonna talk about it. But I wanna take care of the rest of my eyeball first. So I'm gonna go back in the palette and I will be using this one on my lash line. And I'm gonna be blending it out with these two that I used on my crease, which is Seven Heaven and Shadow Hill. We're just gonna throw some mascara on that lower lash line and then we're gonna finish off the face. Before I do so, this is a volum voluminous lash paradise mascara this is literally my favorite mascara to bronze my face i will be using the bronze goddess estee lauder bronzer with a morphe m528 brush i like this brush because it is tapered so it can get right in that cheekbone and you can angle it to blend out fairly easy. Go for a heavy contour today. Whenever I see Jamie Genevieve's videos, she does a pretty heavy contour but it looks so good so mine is probably not gonna look like hers. 
get in here. Fuse that a little bit, abort. I'm gonna do that reverse contour just a tad bit. I don't really like bringing it out here anymore, so it's not so, if I do it like this, it naturally follows my bone structure. So I just kind of drag it down, see that? Just a little tip if you don't want to like. For today's blush, my hair is looking a little funky. I will be using, as always, I feel like I use this in almost every tutorial. This is the Mirame Dose of Colors Desi X Katie highlight. I love, love, love this one. I'll even use it, excuse me, when I'm not wearing makeup. I just feel like it's so close to my actual skin tone that it just makes it look like bam highlight but my cheek slash skin but better this has been my go-to using my morphe 510 just going to dabble in that beautiful hmm. i'm gonna go in my nars orgasm blush i just love it so much and I don't go heavy on the blush. I just need a little bit to make it look like rosy. I have color to my cheeks. For my lips, one of my current faves, and I feel like it'll go really nicely with this shadow. To line my lips, this is an LA Girl liner in, I don't think the name is on here anymore. I sharpened it off. It's GP538, maybe. And then this is from the Dose of Colors Holiday Collection. This one's called Lazy Daisy, and I love it this shade i've been using it almost every day it just looks so beautiful and like my lips but better type of situation I totally forgot that inner corner so using my morphe m326 brush i'm just gonna go back in meet on it put that in you know the inner corners I think since we have a cranberry going on, it just looks beautiful if you want to do something pretty for Christmas and New Year's without being so extra, you know what I'm saying? So the face is pretty much done. I just need to do something with this hair. So I'm going to go ahead and do my hair and I'll be right back. All right, that concludes this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I probably have done this eyeshadow look many many times I feel like it goes with many things and I'm living for how it looks with my hair color I did just get my hair done I really like the color I've been blonde or balayage for a really really long time I would want to say like five or six years and this is just something different but anyway if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you're not subscribed already then please do so other than that i hope your holiday is wonderful and i look forward to seeing you next time bye